Last night after the, uh, the game, we came to a decision that we had to uh, relieve Jay of his duties. Dan and I met with Jay this morning um, to release him of his duties. Uh, Jay was uh, disappointed in, in not being able to achieve what we all wanted to achieve. And it was a, a brief conversation. I was wondering what took them so long because as you look at his record over the six years, 35, 49, and one, and he's only had one playoff appearance. He wasn't getting the job done. He could not make the adjustments during the course of games. So I wasn't surprised that he was let go, but I was surprised that it took so long. We had a coaches meeting and we're fortunate to have a seasoned veteran like Bill Callahan on our staff. And we named Bill our interim head coach. Bill's leadership and the programs he's gonna put in and the discipline and execution, we believe we're giving it the best opportunity to beat the Miami Dolphins and for the rest of the year. As far as Dwayne, we're excited as hell to have him on this football team. And we think he has a great future ahead of him. He's working very hard. He's learning the system. And uh, when Coach Callahan decides to put him in, he'll, he'll make that decision. But uh, Jay was excited about Dwayne Haskins. And, and I think he probably talked to several of you from OTAs and, and in training camp about how well he was doing. I think you put him in right now because NFL experience is something that you can't get from the sideline. He's your future, but why not play him now? Bruce, obviously Trent Williams isn't here. Just where do things stand with him and have you considered trading him at all since it's, you guys are 0-5? He is uh, not here. You are very correct on that, Matt. Um, and really there's been no dialogue with the, any other team. Would you consider trading him? Just as a follow-up, would you consider trading him? No, not at this time. You know, the culture is actually damn good. These people care. We have a very young core of players that we have brought in here who are accustomed to winning. If you look at the record of these guys, they're accustomed to winning. They want to win. Bruce Allen talked about the culture of this team and moving it forward and having a positive outlook for the fans and the organization. But remember last year when DJ Swearinger got booted off this team because of some of the things he said about the culture of this team? Man, that's, that's part of the new culture. We're trying to change this thing around right here. Uh, <clears throat> we're doing a good job of it right now. We just got to stay consistent in our approach and our preparation. Uh, they paying attention in practice, uh, focusing in on practice, and we got to do a better job. I think he was telling the truth because when you look at this year and you hear some of the things that's going on, some of the same things that he was talking about last year is taking place this year. And you can kind of like see it in some of the game situations and then hear about it in some of the practices. And we still can accomplish many of our goals. There's no one in this locker room who's going to quit. No one in this organization who's going to shy away from some extra work. To win two or three games at best is what we should kind of like look at because I think that so many other things in this organization is broke. Just letting go Coach Gruden is one thing, but it's so many other changes I think that needs to take place for this team to move forward in the right direction.